let's talk about the third function that is to oversee the efforts of the workforce okay that is the responsibility of lower level manager that he has to keep checking that whatever standards have been set by the top level management and communicated by the middle level management these standards are being met or not okay they have to keep supervising that's why their name is supervisor right so oversee means supervising the work of the workers okay another function of the lower level management is to ensure the quality of output standard of uh, standard quality standards and minimization of waste material etc because like we told that uh, management is all about efficiency and effectiveness so they'll have to focus on the effectiveness as well uh, they have to work upon reducing the cost and taking out the maximum benefit and that can be done by minimizing the waste material and uh, on the contrary they have to uh, maintain the quality standards as well they cannot sacrifice with that okay so they have to uh, match with the quality standards or safety standard whatever the standards are uh, given by the top level management or they are falling in the category okay so they have to match according to that now the last function of uh, this level of management is to pass on instructions of middle level management to the workers like i told you the top level management frame policies and these policies are interpreted by the middle level management and middle level management communicate this to lower level management and ultimately lower level management has to pass on these instructions okay or the meaning of actual meaning of these so that implementation can take place to the workers because uh, ultimately they are going to work upon it fine one more thing i would like to tell about these all functions because uh, in uh, various books these functions may not be given with the same language may not be given with the same sequence okay but i have taken a summary of uh, these functions and i have highlighted the important uh, letters by that you can remember these functions very easily i told you the important thing because i have been teaching for a very long time so many students come to me with this topic and uh, they uh, come with a problem the problem is to remember all these functions okay because these are lengthy and uh, right now you may be finding it easy to remember because you are learning a single concept but when you finish the entire syllabus entire book you have learned various concept in that case it becomes problematic or it becomes very much difficult for most of the student to remember all these functions okay especially at the time of case studies so what happens sometimes the functions of the manage uh, middle top level management are mistook uh, mistaken as the functions of the middle level management or lower level management so vice versa so these problems take place so i focus on these problem because i keep you know taking the feedback from the student you can also give me the feedback if any kind of problem is coming so in that case what the happens i thought over it and then i try to uh, work upon making a code like i all the time do but there that was a challenge for me that how to make a code for such a lengthy sentence then i took the most important word from the entire sentence by which you can remember the entire sentence or you can frame the language like here i took a word resource okay so if you talk about functions of top management and you remember resource then rest of the language you can frame on your own means arranging the resources bringing the resources like money machine etc okay similarly here i took a, a special word that is business fine so by the b business you will remember about the business environment and you will come to know for the survival of the organization they have to have the information of the business environment and then you can frame the other language as well okay and here i have uh, taken the word c that is to coordinate so if you remember the coordinate then you will remember the coordination uh, with the activities of the different department similarly here i have taken the word o o from overall goals so if you remember overall goals then you can remember that formulating overall goals and making policies etc same case i have done here i have taken the word c means cooperate if you remember the cooperate then you yourself can remind 
your uh, that uh, cooperate with other departments here i have taken the word s s means staff okay means ensure availability of necessary staff here i have taken the word interpret not policy because if i have taken the policy you would remember top level management that's why intentionally i have taken the word i i means interpreting the policies then you can remember easily okay here i have taken the word and from motivate you can remember motivating their workers to achieve the desired goal and here i have taken the word assign a from assign means assigning the duties and responsibility to the workforce right the same i have done in this case represent r i have taken again here to represent workers grievances if you remember represent then you will remember about the grievances as well if you remember w means working environment for the uh, workers then you can remember you can make your language like ensure safe and proper working environment so similarly i have taken here o from oversee if you remember oversee the efforts then you can frame the rest of the language here i have taken the word q from the quality if you remember the quality then you can frame rest of the language on your own similarly i have put uh, i have taken picked the verb that is p from pass if you remember pass on instruction then the rest of the language you can frame so taking these important letters from these uh, uh, most highlighted words i have prepared a quote and you know very well that our quotes are fun only funny things leave a specific impact on our mind and when and we remember that so we're talking about the code the funny code right okay so very first i write down the code here only then i'll ask you to do imagine something see you can match the words here r b c o r for resources b for business environment c for coordinate and o for overall goals right similarly c s i m c stands for cooperate with the other departments s stands for staffing and i stands for interpreting the policies and m stands for motivating the workers and one more thing i left here automatically a stands for align the duties okay and uh, this again r stands for represent and w stands for working environment and o stands for oversee the work and q stands for quality standards and p stands for passing on instructions okay now we'll have to imagine we know very well that nobody buys car online right they can give the order but they have to buy the car going physically to the uh, outlets so we'll have to imagine that there is somebody called rahul and rahul has bought a car online and after buying that car he is driving that car and by the mistake or automatically you have to imagine what happens he just hit a monster i have used the word here smash smash means just breaking something okay just uh, just to break something so the car uh, then the car is smashed into a monster automatically and then what happens after the smash rahul jumps and he goes where he jumps and he goes to where he has to jump onto a queen's palanquin a queen was going sitting in a palanquin palanquin uh, you can understand palanquin is a kind of box in which a person can sit and uh, to uh, four, two or four persons can carry that palanquin so a queen was going in that and uh, rahul jumped onto that palanquin Okay, you'll have to imagine that funny situation, and uh, if you imagine that funny situation, then what happens? You'll remember that code forever, and you can remember the all functions of management with the help of this funny code, right? So after knowing the functions of three levels of management, we are going to another topic that is levels and functions of. management don't get confused here what we have learned these were the functions of particular level of management particular level of managers you better call them but here we are talking about the functions of management that we learned so far there were five functions planning organizing staffing and directing and last controlling 
So here we are seeing these five important functions of management, how these are applied in these levels of management. Okay, now the very important statement is that every manager, whether he is at top level or at middle level or at lower level, he has to perform all these five functions, right? But relevance or relativity of a particular function differs uh, uh, differs from level to level. Okay, I explain you that thing with the example. You all must be watching cricket. If you do not watch even then you have the information about the cricket. In cricket there are 11 players. Okay, and uh, I take example of a batsman. The batsman's main function is what? Betting. So he sharpens his skills in betting more and more. But can we say that a batsman uh, cannot do fielding? No, he has to do fielding. Okay. Can we say that a batsman cannot do bowling? No, he has to do bowling as well. You must have seen Virat Kohli also bowls. Yuvraj Singh also bowls. Okay. You have seen Mahindra Singh Dhoni also bowling. Fine. Batting, fielding, bowling or keeping. And coaching. And uh, uh, making strategies. Okay. So, if we talk about a batsman, he has to sharpen his skills more in batting. He can bat well uh, among all these activities, but he has to do fielding as well. He has to do bowling as well and he may have to do keeping as well. He may have to do coaching or making strategy as well. Similarly, top level management, middle level management and lower level management. They have to perform all these five functions, but at specific levels, the specific functions are having more importance. Now you must be getting my point, what I'm trying to say, right? I just proved my point with the help of one diagram, which you will be finding in your books as well. But so often you do not understand it pretty well. So I try my level best to make you understand. So you'll have to imagine that this, this complete column is for planning and this complete second column is for organizing and this complete third column is for staffing and fourth column is for directing. I read right here so that you can easily understand and uh, this complete column is for controlling. You will have to imagine the complete column. Okay, here I just draw a line. Okay, now we need to understand, fine, focus here, top level management, in top level management, which column is falling more, we can see the planning column is falling more here in this area, right, okay, I just put this kind of lines here, okay, this portion, so means the most of the planning Fun, uh, planning activities or the function of planning comes under the hand of what? Top level management, like I told you. Okay. Now, now let's talk about <coughs> the complete uh, planning is coming here. Now we have to see organizing. If we see organizing, the complete organizing is coming here for top level management. Okay. Okay. Here we are focusing only top level management right now. I'll come on to middle as well. Okay, so this portion complete planning is being is uh, is there in the direction of top level and complete organizing in the dog, uh, in the direction of top level. Now we are coming to these other function is staffing having the middle importance over here. Okay, directing is having very less important and controlling again is having very less important. Okay, now let's talk about middle level. Middle level is having planning, okay, as well as organizing, 
but it is having staffing function move okay and it is having directing function a bit okay and controlling function is just uh, you can say equivalent to uh, very less now let's talk about lower level management lower level management is having very uh, less very less portion of planning we can see here and a bit more uh, portion of organizing and a bit more uh, portion of staffing but it is having two big portion one is directing and another is controlling so we can conclude here top level means planning and organizing middle means staffing and directing but less lower means directing more and controlling here i would like to add one more thing coordination okay so if the question comes that uh, planning is exercised by which level of management more then what answer you will have to take top level similarly the question comes organizing is ex exercised by which level of management more means you will have to take top level but if the question talks about directing or controlling then you will have to take lower level fine okay and if the question comes about staffing and coordination then you will have to take middle level okay i am skipping here this directing less you need not tick in the uh, in the case studies if the question is asked right you will have to focus on this the, because the most portion of directing comes under lower okay because they have to exercise this function more like i told you that these levels of management perform all five functions of management but the relevance of particular function becomes more important to particular level of management so for top level management planning and organizing uh, are the both important function and for middle level management staffing and coordination is important and for lower level management directing and controlling is most important right so this is all for today uh, see you in the next video thank you very much